I'm Henry T. Welcome to KZQ Channel 32, the show we call Be Inspired with Henry T. This is a show about inspiration. Many times over, New Mexico Sportscaster of the Year. Yeah, it's been, it's been a good ride, man. You know, like, that's been good to me. I'll, I'll tell you, the first day that I got elected Secretary of State, my group, the first thing we did was say a prayer right out the door. About people who have overcome great obstacles in life to achieve their dreams. No one's going to give me anything. It's not going to be handed to me on no platter, so anything I have to get, I have to earn it. Who have become role models for others. So when I grew up, I knew that there would be a time that I would have to give back to the community somehow. Those who've gone on to be the best they can be and to inspire. 16,000 people watched Jim Holzman and his Bulldogs win the state championship. This man has been the head coach at Albuquerque High for 22 years. Hello again, I'm Henry T. Welcome to the show we call Be Inspired with Henry T. And it never fails. I'm the one that gets inspired because I have people like who are going to join us today, like Felicia Meyer, motivated, on top of her game, creative, articulate, maybe an author now, I don't know, or oh, she's got a great story to tell that we need to hear. Felicia, what a pleasure Thank to you. have you today. What an honor to be here. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Actually enjoying life and looking forward to the future. You know, that's a, good a question life. we might take for granted. How are you? What's going on? Well, let me tell you, wait for the answer. Because it's so cliche, we don't really wait for the answer. But the way you reacted right there, you've already convinced us <laughs> that things are going well. Yeah. And if you're, they're not, you know how to fix it. Absolutely, and the future is bright for me, wow. for you, for all of us. How about that? Yeah. You know, inspiration's a big word. It means maybe different things to different people because everybody has a different inspirational story. Do you sure. mind sharing yours? Absolutely Who inspired not. you to be who you are today? Well, you know, I... Um, I think that my first inspiration for me was always my mother. My mother is a strong woman, um, raised three kids on her own, um, came from a, a tough background and whatnot, and she found the strength to work full time, go to school, raise children, and just be an overall wonderful person. Um, so first inspiration comes from my mother. But I think really, if I, if I really look um, in the past, you know, when you're young, you spend a lot of time imagining what you'll be like when you grow up and imagining um, the kind of life that you want to have. Well, if you're me, you do. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time imagining the kind of life that I wanted to have mm. since a very young age. My mother inspired cooking in me, so she gave us duties as children in the house while she was at work, um, she would relay messages to begin cooking a pot of beans or to begin, uh, you know, boiling the, the chili pods to make enchiladas, you know. Wow. So there were lots of things like that that inspired me in cooking. Um, so I think the two mixed together and then having a really, really deep sense of faith. Um, there's always been a higher power for me, Henry, that has spoke to me and I think inspired me in, in movement um, and belief in myself. Um, as young kids growing up, sometimes we have every reason not to believe in ourselves. Kids are mean out there. Mm. You come across people that um, tear you down or whatever. Mm. But I always had a voice in the back of my head telling me that I should go for it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And our own peers, some of our own family members yeah, at yeah. time try Absolutely. to bring us down. You're having too much success. Absolutely. Ooh, I don't like that. Absolutely. You're passing me by. What do I do to slow that progress down or make you feel bad about yourself? Right. All that is real. All of that happens. How did you avoid that? You know, all I can attribute it to is really that inner voice, higher power, God. Um, 
I feel like I have been led my whole life. I've been um, kind of cued on where to go and what to do, and you know, protected. I think that that's the big thing is protected in my decisions. Wow. I haven't always made the right decisions, <laughs> as many of us haven't, Amen. Um, and that's how you learn. Um, but I think the decisions that I did make, and even the bad ones, I was always led um, in, a, in a direction where I learned from it. Um, I learned from it. And I just have this drive inside of me for success, I want to say. I, I want to be successful. I want to affect my children and my family. And I want to affect other people. I want other people to know that, you know, whatever you want in life, um, it's available to you. All you have to do is believe it and then go out and get it. You are inspirational. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, did you record that? If not, you better start that recording right now because she's going to lift us all up. You know, there's so many stories, success stories, about people who have had 20 bankruptcies. Right. They've fallen several times, but they have what you have, that desire to keep going, stand back up, dust yourself off. We're going to go get them again, only different angle. Absolutely. Had that happen to me too. You know, I've been down and I've, I've suffered some financial losses. I've suffered some material losses. Um, I've suffered some love losses. But, you know, um, we can't give up. We can't give up. And yet I think that those losses make you stronger. Um, you can go in one of two directions. You can become stronger or you can have a pity party. And pity parties are fun for a very short while, but you know, uh, you don't really sparkle and shine and you can't no. glitz up for a pity, pity party. <laughs> and I like sparkle and shine, so I'd rather go the other direction and just, you know, continue to press on um, even in the face of adversity. It's very yeah. important to press on. Wow. And I think there's so much. Now let's get into literally what do you do, business lady? Well, what I do is I cater. I have a mobile wood-fired pizza oven. Uh, the name of my business is Forenzi Mobile Pizza. I come on site and make delicious wood-fired authentic Italian pizza for you and your guests. If you're having um, any type of shindig from just a, a retirement party, birthday party, all the way to a wedding, um, I'll bring my team on site and we will give you an experience that you'll never forget. Wow. Yeah. Give us an example. Sure. Wedding taking place Saturday night. Okay, wedding taking place Saturday night. Um, let's say that it's in a backyard or a winery, perhaps. Uh, we'll bring the mobile oven on site. It is a beautiful trailer um, with an oven built right on top of it. The pieces were imported from Italy. So we've got um, bricks from Vesuvius ash. Um, We'll fire it up right on site. We'll set up our canopy. I have a team of people that will bring out the dough that we made freshly in our commercial kitchen. Um, all of the toppings are wonderfully organic. Um, we try to use mostly local. And one thing I can promise in that any of my food, there will never be anything genetically modified. Um, we really focus on bringing you the best quality food that we can. We use local products such as Keller's Farms sausage, Keller's Farms chicken, um, local basil, uh, a whole host of things that we um, gather in this community and then use locally so that we are honoring the people that are doing business here as well. And so we'll bring all those on site. We will uh, stretch out pizzas, top them right there, cook them right there, wow. and then serve them to your guests. We do other foods as well, such as antipasto platters, um, shrimp diavolo. Um, we've got salads galore. All of our dressings are made in-house and made with non-genetically modified 100% olive oil. Things like that that make the difference. Now, the fun factor. You're there in the midst of a celebration. Yes. You're cooking. There's I love my job. <laughs> enjoyment, obviously. Absolutely. How about satisfaction? Oh. When the evening is underway and you see the smiles on the faces and they're eating to their heart's desire. It's fantastic, Henry. And then the evening's yeah. over. Give us all those, those touches of successes 
in the one evening. Sure. So coming on site for each event is just a fantastic process for the setup. Um, we usually begin cooking shortly after we arrive um, for the platters that we're going to serve. So we cook everything on site there. The oven is 100% wood fueled, so it doesn't have any gas assistance. So we're cooking, you know, like they did in the old days, by wood, by fire. Um, there's something very magical about breaking bread with people. Um, it wow. is... It is magical. Um, it brings out um, happiness in people, excitement, especially when the food is really good. <laughs> and so, you know, setup is wonderful. People start to smell the aromas and get excited about what's going to happen. And they're already excited because they're there for some type of festivity or celebration. Um, once they start seeing the setup of the food portion of the evening, people get excited. We get a lot of people coming to ask us about um, how we got started and are inspired by the actual just, you know, the, the process of what we do and the business model of, of what we do. Um, and then once the food comes out and they start to see and taste the product that we have, people are blown away. The satisfaction for them is being fed, um, you know, a wonderful meal. And it's an experience, truly, because they get to see the food being cooked. But the exciting and satisfying part for me is, you know, people are very complimentary and people are very supportive. Um, I'm always um, in an environment where people are lifting me up and want me to succeed and are excited about what I'm doing. So this has been a wonderful journey. Um, this oven has brought a lot of joy, a lot of friends. I've made a, a lot of new friends and a lot of opportunity to me and my team. It's wow. fantastic. Now, then another phone call comes and you're back at it again. Absolutely. But you're so organized, it seems that planning is imperative oh yeah and have the proper tools for the event absolutely catering is one of the most chaotic jobs that anybody can pick um, and the environment can get you know crazy at times but um, you know with a little help from up above Amen. <laughs> and then a lot of help from my team members um, we get it done and we get it done in a timely and orderly fashion and you know we have fun while we're doing it too and we get to sample the food too, so we get a little bit of <laughs> deliciousness as well. And as the patrons of the wedding walk out and they say good night and they congratulate the bride and groom, they're walking out satisfied, they have fun. What a meal. Do you get that kind of feedback? Absolutely. You know, I get immediate um, satisfaction or uh, gratification is the word that I'm looking for yeah. because people love to come and thank us. They love to come and tell us how wonderful the meal is. Um, they love to tell us stories about uh, their catering uh, um, experiences and um then, of course, I make a lot of new contacts for future events because people are generally just very surprised that pizza at any type of event like that could be so wonderful. Wow. But, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Um, people are very excited about what we do, and once they taste the product, there's no turning back. Felicia, we're at halftime. All right. Man, now we're going to have a little pep talk at halftime. Coach is going to come in tell us how the cow ate the cabbage, <laughs> and then we're going to have a second half of this exciting experience with Felicia Meyer. Wow, we're happy she's here today. Stay right there. We're coming back with more inspiration right here on KZQ Channel 32. Henry T. Totally inspired by now. I mean, I'm doing this show like my hair's on fire. I'm so excited because Felicia Meyer has brought us a story today. Rags to riches or beginning to very much a success story as she has related already, but there's more to come. Where do you see yourself, Felicia, in two, three years, five years, 
Might be an unfair question, but I'm anxious for that exciting answer. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I don't like to predict the future, but I certainly like to plan for it. And so I love where I'm at right now. I'm having a really good time with this catering business. You know, but moving forward, I'd really love to have a full service restaurant um, serving the wonderful, wonderful dishes that um, I've come up with in the oven. And cooking by fire is an inspiration, so I'd like to keep it somewhere in that realm. Um, you know, and I also see other big things coming up, maybe possibly TV shows. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, so um, I, I think that um, a cookbook might be in order as well because I love to cook. And, you know, I'd like to um, create a cookbook even if it's for my children. Um, because I'd like to pass on the legacy. I consider it a legacy, um, the dishes that I make and the things that I create, um, because they, they, in, they feed people not only, um, you know, pansa, um, it feeds people spiritually, I believe. So I think that food and breaking bread is a, a very magical thing. Amen. Yeah. You, we talked about earlier your mom. Yeah. And the strength she gave you. <laughs> Tough love, maybe, yep. with a whole lot of direction yeah. and guidance. Yes, absolutely. I'm curious. If you don't mind, if it's not too private, describe mom for us. Sure, I'd love to. My mother's a lovely lady. Um, she's older now, um, obviously, but um, she is a lovely lady. My mother is uh, strength. You know, she uh, has fortitude. Um, I picked up those things from her and the qualities like, um, you know, doing things right the first time. Um, she not only taught me how to be a strong woman, um, she taught me how to take care of myself. So I remember from a very young age, my mother was always concerned with, um, you know, uh, putting on the face cream and fixing up your hair and wearing your best for Sunday church and things like that. So she really taught me and inspired me how to be um, a woman about her business, um, a lovely woman, a gentle woman, but a strong, you know, driven woman. And now my mom, we share a really wonderful friendship now. Um, she's a bit older, but she's in no way stopped going. <laughs> she's a driven lady. And so, um, you know, we have a wonderful time together going to lunch and she loves to uh, go to dinner and um, she loves your show. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so. Wow. Um, Hello, Mom. She's a great lady. Really, really a big source of inspiration for me and, um, you know, really the rock of the family she is. Incredible. Your children. Yeah. They make you happy. Oh, they make they me make incredibly smile. happy. Yes, they do. They're fantastic. I've been blessed with two of the most wonderful children anyone can have. Um, I've got a son, his name is Adam, and my daughter's name is Audrey. Uh, both creative in their own ways, um, both fantastic parents. I'm really happy um, that I was able to connect with these two human beings on this planet at this time. They're great people. Um, my son, you know, he, he's into music and um, he's creative in that way. He's, he's somewhat of a musician and he, he sings and, and whatnot. Uh, my daughter is a makeup artist, um, very artistic. She's an illustrator as well, so she's got the gift of artistry. Um, and my daughter actually ha helped me start this business um, way back when, um, when she was in high school. She was my first pizzaiola, which is a... Uh, kind of like a pizza artist. Um, she was the first one for this company and done, did such a wonderful job, um, you know, paving the way for the others that came. Um, and right now I have a team of all women, so it's fantastic. She really wow. did pave the way for these women to come in and, and do this up. I know that story well, because my son, when my radio station had its beginning, my son was the catalyst. Wow. It was his idea that all sports radio in the state of New Mexico is here. The beginning was with my son, wow. Aaron. And, uh, boy, the words that come from babes. Right. The wisdom right. that they don't even know they have. Right. But it's there already. Right. And I listen. When children talk, Henry T. is right there. 
And boy, there's no gray area with children. Right. They observe, they tell you exactly how they think. What a blessing that is. Oh, it is fantastic. And I can tell because your eyes lit up right when you began talking about him. But yes, my son has been fantastic in that for me now. You know, um, being a business owner um, sometimes can get rough and it can get scary. And, you know, um, it's an uncertain future just like it is for everybody, but um, it can get a little bit um, daunting at times. And my son is one where he will say the right words at the right times to inspire me. And I think a lot of it is the words that I spoke to him as a young boy are coming right back at me. And it's incredible to hear that, you know, what was uh, planted in him actually grew, sprouted, and now he's feeding me from the fruit of that. Wow, it's fantastic. Beautiful. Uh, a woman who is a believer and it was not too private, Felicia. How big is God in your life? Oh, huge. I feel like, um, you know, faith for me has been everything. And I think that um, without it, I probably wouldn't even be a quarter of the woman that I am today. So I'm really inspired um, by my faith. And um, I take it very seriously. And I think that, um, I think that, it's fantastic for all of us to share that with others, um, to spread love and joy, and to talk about the things that um, are accomplish accomplishments for us and the things that make our hearts sing because it spreads like wildfire. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know how much you have the Bible with you, but do you have a favorite book in the Bible? Well, you know, I think, <laughs> oddly enough, I, I think um, I'm going to say the book of Hosea is very inspiring to me. And I know that that may not be the most popular book um, in the scriptures, but um, for me, it's a very inspiring book. And um, I think that, uh, I think the whole book is inspiring if you want me to, Ooh. all 66 Amen books in the that. Bible. But um, I think that, um, you know, it, for, in, for inspiration wise, you can't beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I love the book of John. Nice. And when, man, the first miracle all the way to the 33rd, so exciting. Yeah. When his ministry was underway. We'll talk about that sometime, maybe in your second trip to this show. But, you know, it's, a, it's such a blessing to see you having such success. Thank you. And your stories of your family the love story of that family that makes you all so strong. Young parents out there right now might be seeking some direction. Maybe their children are going off and left and off the road a little bit, and they might need a helping hand today. Young couples especially. Mm -hmm. Their children are small, but already they're getting that influence from peers at school. Use your camera or Talk to me directly. Do you have any guidance, any help, suggestions for young couples today? Absolutely. I think it's really important um, in this day and age and with all of the things that we face out there, gun violence and gang violence and, you know, just the s so many things that our kids have, uh, you know, distracting them and, and pulling them in different directions. As parents, I think... One of the most important things to do is to believe. Believe in your children. Don't stop believing. Stand firm in your faith and always speak life over those babies. Even when they're not babies anymore, continue to speak life over them. Um, don't let yourself believe that they can be pulled into uh, darkness. Always bring the light onto them and stay strong and be an example for them. Give them love. I think that... Um, you know, I've learned recently through um, somebody very close to my heart that you can love your children out of anything. And you can love them into anything. And so it is important for us to discipline our children, but I think it's more important to love them. Wow. You got me speechless. <laughs> and that's the first. Everybody out there knows that Henry T., speechless, no way. Yeah, you just hit me in the nose and woke me up for some very important reasons. Oh. And we never stop growing, do we? No, we don't. In the last couple we're of years. We're dead. If we stop growing, we're dead. Yeah. So, yeah. Adversity included. Yeah, absolutely. And when you fall, 
Man, we know how to stand back up. Absolutely. You dust yourself off, get back up, and keep on moving. What's the biggest lesson, without being too private, that you've learned about yourself in your young life? Oh, goodness. There have been so many. But I think really, um, you know, taking a loss of things that you think uh, are so important, that you hang on so tight to them, um, you can wrap your identity up in in things and jobs and relationships. And really, at the end of the day, Henry, um, you know, it's all about you and your connection to God. Amen. That's what it's all about. Um, Amen. You know, we walk in this world with other people, um, but really, um, I'm my own best friend, and he's my best friend, and those are the things that matter. Wow. What do you do in your leisure time? Oh, I love to be outside. I love nature. So for me, I think nature is very therapeutic. I love to go on walks near the river, in the foothills, take drives, explore the state of New Mexico. Um, I've had the pleasure of going around the state this past year and seeing a lot of national monuments. I've been to the El Malpais um, National Monument, Bandelier, um, lots of different places. I look forward to going to Chaco Canyon soon. Wow. And so I think that New Mexico has so much to offer. Um, this is a beautiful state, land of enchantment it is. And I think that we should all take advantage. And so I am going to go ahead and do that so then I can tell everybody else to do it as well. <laughs> wow. <What laughs> and share pleasure. my experiences. What Thank you so much for pleasure. having me. Wonderful being here. Man, I told you and I told you <laughs> by the end of this experience, Henry T is going to be the inspired one, and I'm at the mountaintop of inspiration right now. Well, wow, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. For all of your great story and the incredible communication skills that you've provided us to observe and respect. And I know you're just as inspired about that. I'm in the communication business. She just taught me how to do my work. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We'll be back again tomorrow morning. And these shows are so much fun. They feel so good inside. And tomorrow morning, we'll do it again. 8 a.m. right here on KZQ Channel 32. you got a story, don't forget to call me with it, 907-4523, or email originalgameface at gmail.com. It's been great talking with you today, right here on KZQ. Remember, we're on every morning right here, The Inspired with Henry T, 8 o'clock on KZQ, Channel 32.